Who's your dream interview guest? Oh, that's an interesting Ooh. one for Mark. Either mm. one that we've done before or a new person, because there's so many Scooby people. There's so many. I, I, probably the dream one I would love to interview is Matthew Leonard. Mm. I would love to have a chance to just sit down, chat to him about all his success because he's still in like even before Scooby he was in Hackers, and I want to ask about that role because the the way it was designed back then, like old school like special effects it's something you don't get to see often in films to ask people about because it's all done in the green room so I would love to have a chance to sit down and chat to him because that, that could be a long video because yeah. he's worked on loads he's still, he's still doing stuff today he's doing he, he was well he had a voice part I think in the new Scream but I think they're going to bring him back for like a future Scream movie like, they have to or something yeah and he, then what? He was in the Addison Ray movie. Because they never confirmed his death in screen. He just had um, a TV I think they were gonna have on his him, head. There's like a curiosity with that, where they were going to bring him back for um, Scream 2, and the kind of reveal was going to be that he's been like orchestrating kind of like a load of deaths in the school from his prison cell, because he just got sent to prison. But because like a certain tragedy happened in America, they were like, no, we can't do that. Let's change it. Or something like that. So they were going to bring him back. But then I think they changed it. So they should bring him back again. I'd love to see it. I'm reaffirming what I said. I would really love the chance to speak to Victor Cook. Just because not only did he work on Mystery Incorporated, which is... I, I, I enjoy it. Obviously, Sophie, Sophie here might have a different opinion. But also... <laughs> Spectacular Spider-Man, which is like, for me, Esther Spider-Man. Episodes of the Lilo and Stitch series, so it's nostalgia upon nostalgia upon, like, something new as well, so I think Victor Cook would be, like, the dream interview. Obviously discounting all the ones we've done before, because they've all been a dream, but, you know, yeah, yeah. What about you? Is yours Dade Elza? We interviewed Dade Elza. Okay, are you really? I'd say that Initially, my mind kind of shot to Raja Gosnell because I loved the live action movie. It was the first time I was allowed to watch Scooby because my parents don't like animation. Um, but ultimately, I kind of think through doing the 20th anniversary episodes, mm. I feel like there's nothing short of putting the movie on the screen that they can do. Because I feel like mm. Kent Bader and people like that kind of just, well, like this is the deleted scenes, like this is it. So there's kind of nothing left to unearth. Oh, James Gunn. And so to that end, I'm just going to say Grey Delisle because Daphne was always my favourite character and, like, she was my childhood Daphne. So Grey Delisle. Well, just briefly, I don't hate Mystery Incorporated. I've actually got a Mystery Incorporated t-shirt on right now. Yeah. So Ooh. that counts for something. Um, but apart from Grey, I think the ultimate person to would be Frank Welker. Mm. Yes. I mean, how could you not? That would be the dream come true. And like, it is. I, I think don't... the reason I didn't say that was purely out of intimidation. Yeah. Like, you know, the times you did it with Nick Pilates. They like entered the Zoom. <laughs> I'm just out JV and everything. I'm so sorry. But like they entered the Zoom and JV was just like, <laughs> and normally he does the introductions and stuff and I was looking at him like if you don't talk that means I have to and then it just like launched into me speaking like introducing everyone in the zoom just like okay so this is this person this is this person JB say hi I mean, even people that wouldn't want to go out of the way to belittle me I think even picked up on that I think when we finished there was like a two minute pause and then Smash was just like so what happened to you and I was like I don't, I don't know I don't know what's going on like yeah, I was I was starstruck, I think. And um, but yeah, I don't know how you would go about doing like Frank Welker interview like professionally because every time he talks, wouldn't you just want to go, oh my gosh, he's talking? Like it's a pinchy moment. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. It would be like I feel like it would be one of those where like we all got the syndrome that you did when Nick ended and we'd all just be sat looking at him like what do we do now? I've heard of that. He just enters the Zoom call and there's just like. He's going to think there's an internet like, connection yeah, issue. Five we're faces all just sat there like... staring at him. And every time he, he answers a question, it's just everyone leaning in like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. He actually he should decline that interview based on, based on the fact that I think um, 
I don't think we'd be able to get him off the call. I think it would just be like, please, can we keep you? I don't think we'd be able to speak. I genuinely don't. Nah, that's crazy. It would be too, too much. A bit cray cray. <laughs>